Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. We've got a lot of energy that we're working with. As usual, we had a giant, giant coronal mass ejection um, from the sun the other day and we are still receiving a lot of solar weather, a lot of plasma, a lot of a lot of energy, right? Along with all the other energetics that we're working in. Uh, leading up to the full moon in Aries on Friday, the 29th, as well as that opening us up to eclipse season. So let's get started with your reading, Pisces. This is a message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Pisces. And uh, these are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest not resonating for you most likely the message is not for you check with your moon sign your rising sign any of your other placements or any of the other zodiac that just sort of pop out and stand out to you if you feel called to all right what are the messages for pisces please competition Privacy, resilience, magic below. We're going to get one card from this deck as it was calling to me as I was shuffling the deck. Ooh, we have a little bit of a uh, crystal pile up here. So, Pisces, dealing with some sort of competition. This could just be within your... You with you, <laughs> as a lot of times it is. Um, definitely something that you are keeping to yourself, being very resilient through all of it. You are magical, Pisces, and I think you're fully aware of it. There's a lot, okay, there's a lot to contend with in this world, right? There's a lot of different divinations and ways there's there's many paths to enlightenment and I think you're finding out that it's not just one straight line path that gets you there there are multiple ways of, of getting to the same form of enlightenment so try not to compete with others or you know be curious of anything um, it's definitely something that you're keeping within yourself is there a message in here for Pisces or not Okay. I suppose there was. <laughs> I guess I was being a little bossy as well. <laughs> All right. First card, we have never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. Never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. Wise advice there, Pisces. So, um, and all our feelings should be temporary. If, they, if you still have a strong urge, a strong feeling about someone or something, and it's happened in the past, that's an indicator to keep go back down within. You shouldn't be carrying that strong feeling with you. Um, that's a permanent decision to go on your path with um, some form of opinion or judgment. Um, sorry, something on my screen. What else do we have here? You will meet your soulmate when the time is right. Interesting. And your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. Take a leap of faith into the unknown, Pisces. All right. <laughs> that is your magic. That is your magic card. Taking a leap of faith into the unknown. So there's definitely something that um, is asking for change. If you want your life to get better, don't wait around for a miracle. Something has to shift. Something has to change. And it seems as though there might be something that has to do with a feeling or certain feelings. Especially when it comes to you opposing another. Um, what you're keeping private to yourself is that... Um, 
think you deeply know that you have deep soul connection to uh, there's that special someone out there for you right but you're not really putting that out there or you're not talking about it you're not expressing it right now you might not even be honest with yourself about that right now all right um let's get into some tarot let's talk about this competition here for pisces interesting card to come out for Pisces. I know a lot of Pisces and um, I would not say at least on the surface that they have a competitive streak in them, but that could be something that they are keeping to themselves. It's part of the shadow, keeping it private. I don't want anybody to know that I actually kind of, you know, secretly compete with others in my mind. <laughs> it's not a competition and you do know that. But we're all human. We all have these crazy experiences with each other that bring out these very real feelings and experiences. But never make a permanent decision on a temporary feeling here. Okay. I don't know why I keep going back to that card, Pisces. Talk about competition. <coughs> Excuse me. Competition for Pisces, please. <coughs> <coughs> That's a lot there. We have harmony, recognition, and reward. And authority. So there's definitely been a block for you your whole life when it comes to having harmonious partnerships and connections with others and actually have um, another person recognize you for who you truly are, having that rewarding experience of like, I see you, you see me, I see all the magic within you, and we are just in perfect harmony and flow. There's definitely been something that has stopped that in your past. This could have something to do with competition. This could be past life stuff too. Don't get me wrong. That's definitely something that's an option as well. But we're talking about this life here that we are in at this point, point in time. And we have to really get to the bottom of our own inner psyche. Uh, again, brought back to this card, Pisces. Never make a permanent decision on a temporary feeling. You're carrying something with you. You're carrying something with you from the past and you want to let go of that so that that does not block you in your now moments in creating harmonious relationships with, with others. You may have a wall up, an energetic wall that you're not even fully aware of. Okay. Let's talk about privacy for Pisces. And I can see that. I can see that, Pisces. An energetic wall. You like to keep your cards close to you, close to your vest. <laughs> yeah, you don't like to really show all of your cards, especially when you're freshly meeting someone. You will energetically feel them out for sure, but um, you're not going to expose all of you, especially the parts of you that have been hurt or judged or blocked there's something in you that's keeping you from it, being transparent being vulnerable with others you will meet your soulmate when the time is right and that time really will require you to be transparent which requires vulnerability <laughs> yeah there's something somewhat of a you withdraw yourself emotionally from other people you like to stay in your privacy bubble but at the same time you're kind of like alone you're lonely there I'm lonely but then I don't want to put myself out there and like hey here I am all of me can I be a part of like can we get to know each other better I don't see that here Pisces you really withdraw Your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. 
let's talk about this resilience card for Pisces. <laughs> okay, yeah. Again, confirmation, partnerships and alliances along with mental conflict. There's definitely something here. <sighs> Maybe you don't trust yourself. You definitely, I'm not, uh, something from your past has you very guarded and walled off, especially when it comes to deep emotions and sharing those aspects with, um, with others or with another. Um, you may not even fully be aware of it mentally, but it does come out. So pay attention. This, this whole, uh, <laughs> life this energetic game is all about getting to know ourselves deep down spiritual union overall these cards are telling me pisces to take a leap of faith into the unknown to trust the magic is in you there is a spiritual union on the horizon for you it is there it is already created but you're the one that's stopping it you're blocking it. You're withdrawing yourself from it. And you get it up in your head too much. You overthink things. So it's important to really dig inside. Go within and go deep within. Why is it that I do this? Look at your mechanisms. What stops you from just being fully transparent and real? Sure, it's about <laughs> we've all been shit on and crapped on by other people and hurt. But that, you, you got to get back up on that horse and try again. Not all people are the same. Never make a permanent decision based off the temporary feeling. It's all coming together here, Pisces. You may have a good poker face there, but not fooling anybody energetically at all. You get what you give. You get what you give, energetic. If you desire to have someone that just finishes your sentences for you, you feel them, I feel you, there's trust, there's confluence, there's a nice flow. Well, you got to put yourself out there for it. You've got to open yourself out and be completely transparent and vulnerable. And that's scary. It is scary. But it's definitely take a leap of faith into that unknown. Your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. All right. Ten of Cups. What's keeping you from your Ten of Cups? Ten of Emotions. What's keeping you from being surrounded by your soul tribe? Surrounded by all that love and, and um, connection and resources and just pure happiness and joy and bliss with others? With your soul tribe. What's keeping you? You are the one that knows. You are the one that's being the guard. The authoritarian, like, hold on, I can't show. I've got to have, I got to keep some things private. I got to keep some, I got to withdraw this aspect of myself. Nobody can really touch that. That's been, mm -mm, that's been hurt. That's been whatever it is. You get way up in your head. I see this clearly now, Pisces. Okay. And it's right there in your face. You have the answers. They are within you. I used to get so mad at some of those metaphors. Like, what you are seeking is seeking you. I'm like, what does that mean? But now I get it. I get it. Because we do create these things for ourselves. <laughs> Three of materials, page of materials. It's just waiting for you, Pisces. The Trinity, your team, connected to spirit, 
We're all connected under this beautiful umbrella of the same energy. And they possess the exact same qualities and essence that you do. Values, things that you enjoy and appreciate and experiences. And we can share our wisdom, our knowledge, our, our resources. Hmm. Three materials, page of materials. It has been slow coming, the soulmate. I think that you have been really yearning for it when the time is right. The time will be right. You will know when you're ready, when you're ready to drop the guard, when you're ready to stop withdrawing emotionally, when you're ready to get out of your head. That time will come. That time will come. You'll know when the time is right because there's a big aspect of you that's like, I want it. I'm ready. And there's a whole other aspect of you that's like, oh, I am fine just where I'm at. It's like, you know, you'll know when you're ready. But definitely that change comes with from within. When we're ready to fully let go of the pain, when we're fully ready to let go of something that has had its grips on us, that's had its hold on us, the devil. And you're on that bridge right now. You're on that bridge, moving past the hurt, the pain, eclipsing out your past so it no longer has... such a hold on you your past still is um operating within you operating you like a puppet every time you have a a, a reaction or uh, you know something happens and you have a reactionary it goes to the thoughts it goes to the feelings it goes to whoo, energy boundaries stop but this is the bridge between that your past self and your future self when it comes to connecting to others, divinely connecting to others. All right, let's give you one last message here, Pisces. Wow. If you are liking this video so far, please... Be sure to click that like button below this video. It truly helps the algorithms in YouTube and helps get the messages out into circulation more. And I truly appreciate all of you who do take the time to do that. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And feel free to comment. I love to read all of your comments. Please be mindful of your comments. Keep them, uh, you know, if you don't have anything nice to say it doesn't have to be positive we're not always having positive experiences but you can share your not so positive experiences but if your messages are of you know nasty comments and just of ugliness and mean you can keep them to yourself there have been an uptick of those lately and i'm sure it's been a test for me as well but i want to build this community for people to safely feel as though that they can share their experiences and their emotions, that they have a safe place. And so I do delete those nasty comments that come through from time to time. I don't get any of them. I don't get many of them at all. So I'm just putting that out there. All right, last message for Pisces. Ah, you know, a lot of readers just turn their comments off altogether, and I don't want to be that type of person. I want to, again, have that space for people to share, because this experience of life, it ain't easy. It ain't easy at all, and we do need a safe place to, like, engage and, and share our experiences, the good, the bad, the ugly. Okay, last message for Pisces. Flowing 
That's a beautiful card. That's interesting. I don't know. Something just popped up on my phone. Okay. Da, 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 da. Flowing river for Pisces. Card meaning, everything is falling into place because you aren't resisting the drift of the great river of life. It's time to let go. You're entering a period of gracious ease and flow. All is unfolding perfectly and with good timing. When you're in a state of flow, you aren't pushing the river to go faster and you aren't swimming against it. Let go of the shore and enjoy the ride. Your native spirit wants you to know rivers have personalities and carry energy, just like animals and plants do. From the Maoris to the Australian Aborigines and to other native cultures throughout the world, it's believed that it's important to listen to the language of the rivers. If you aren't feeling the smooth currents of life, it might mean that you're trying to control situations or that you're being self-critical or judgmental. The way to move into flow is through gratitude, gratitude and appreciation and by allowing others to support and help you. Heed the Native American saying, it's best to ride the horse the direction that it's going. This means that when the card flowing river chooses you, you're being told to let go and go with the flow. If there is something or someone you need to forgive, this is the time. This is also the time to forgive yourself and just let go. Take a leap of faith into the unknown. Never make a permanent decision on a temporary feeling. Your life does not get better by chance. It gets better by change. And that change is with you. So I hope that you found this message to be helpful, Pisces. And I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.